two videos in the same day? It's Trifmas! Hey dude, what's Trifmas? Only the best holiday known to mankind. That doesn't explain anything. It don't have to explain anything. But what what is it? It is on the greatest YouTube channel on this planet. Post two times in the same day. I don't even like your content. Hello darkness, my old friend. Happy Trifmas, everyone. It is not every day I'm gonna be posting two videos on the same day. But it's the best deck, so why not? There's gonna be three random test heads in a row showcasing the absolute power of my deck, drawing every brick brick in the deck and showing that even with the bricks you still got five plus negates it don't matter because they're not bricks because they're simply not bricks so without further ado enjoy greatness and we are going to get right into it so plain and simple as you see i'm gonna go double the speed double the speed i'm doing three or four hundred hands in a row let's go first hand right there it's a decent hand but we drew the brick orcus nightmare people say orcus nightmare is a brick it's really not you have so many ways to get rid of it allure Pen calls, we literally have four ways to get rid of it there. Pen calls, allures. Sucks we drew three pen calls. It definitely sucks, but it's whatever. Like, you're not going to have the perfect hand. And on top of that, we don't have anything to pop with Electrum. This hand's not good whatsoever. We have nothing to pop with Electrum. Uh, Electrum's basically irrelevant. It's like your Electrum just there as a land for rockets or whatever. You're not even using uh, Electrum's effect at this point because you're not popping anything. You're going to draw nothing. So... This hand's not the best, but again, I want to show you guys with the most subpar hands. We have three pen calls and no magicians to pop. Or all magicians, so we can't pop anything with Electro. That sucks. That sucks. But it's all good. And also, uh, check out that play match. So beautiful. Check it out in the description, guys. So here it is. That's our extra deck. We literally send gate zero here because we want to go into Vortex. This combo revolves around going into absolute more than any other pendulum combo I've ever made. You the uh, If you go into uh, absolute, you get a free unicorn and... It is a lot better than going into Phoenix. It's a lot better to do the combo by going into Unicorn. Because it's one less monster you got to deal with. So there's an emphasis on going into Absolute. Now, one thing to note. If you drew another Orcus there. Let's say Horror or the Skeleton, the level 3, level 4, or even World 1. Uh, if you Allured it, Galatea brings it back. So even if you Allure it, it doesn't matter. You still get it back into your combo, even if you Allure it. So Allure is broken in this deck. Now, I pop Harmonizing with Electra because we didn't, simply didn't need the monster there. And I wanted as many plus card in hand as possible. So you saw there, this combo is literally one Jackal and two level 7s. Uh, and I'm going to look at that. Like, most turns would end with a hand like that. Most Pendulums would end there with a Vortex and a Jackal and, like, a Metaltron or something. But not here. Not here. That's what this channel is for. For the best combos in the game. And let's actually do stuff. So now we don't just uh, summon out. Uh, we go Galatea. We can go through our whole combo here. And what's amazing about the Orcus engine here. Is it doesn't just give you two negates of fog blade rusty. It doesn't just give you a free level four on field if you happen to have another level four to go into the fifth negate. That was a bad hand. We can't even do five. That's horrible. But it also gives you two free draws from one straight of return. It also gives you a guaranteed link three, uh, two links material, whatever, from rusty coming down to summon every turn from fog blades. And it gives you the whole Orcus engine for next turn to play with because horror is going to be in your grave. That's nuts. Why? Like, this doesn't break. You guys got to understand. I literally drew Orc of the Nightmare. You have 14 ways to get rid of cards to, that you draw. You have 14 ways of five ravines, six pen calls, and three allure. And allure, you get the cards back that you send away with allure. So, through Galatea. So, look at this. And you have all the free draws you just got. You got the best follow-up. Like, look at those follow-ups. They're all coming back next turn because horror is going to summon itself. Freeze Skeleton is going to summon back. Like, and this is horrible. This is a horrible hand where you didn't even utilize Electrum's effect to pop in your scale. You didn't even draw. You didn't even, uh, it's just a bad hand. You had an extra pen call. You had three pen calls. No, like all magicians in hand. That sucked. That was a bad hand. We still ended up four negates or most hands, most uh, decks, most punch up decks with that would end on too. Now look at this. This is, huh, this is a lot. This is a brick city right here. We drew Mirror Mirror, the Strudo, Orchestrated Return, stuff that you don't want to see. But we're like, you know what? We got Exodia on top of that. So it's okay. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you draw your bricks. Look at all the bricks we drew there. Destrudo and Mirror Mirror and Orchestrated Return. It's all Gucci. All right? It's all Gucci. It is no problem. Uh, so there we go. We just use our little... Like, like there's so many stuff like that. Like, you could draw three bricks. You could draw a Time Gazer, Orchestrated Return, Mirror Mirror. You could draw... You just need to play... You need three cards to play. You can orchestrate a return to Mirror Mirror, the two worst cards to draw in this entire deck. Mirror Mirror is literally just drew, it's glued to my hand all the time. I'm playing a 60 card deck. What are you doing in my hand? 
Uh, and there, there you go. Like, you just need three cards. One turbo and two pendulums, and you win. So here we're going to extend the combo even further. We're going to put up the full six negates, which is every single turn. You're like, this is a typical pendulum summon. This right here, as you see, is a typical pendulum summon. A jackal, two level fours, two level sevens. It's even worse than typical because uh, normally, har like right here, harmonizing dark one won't be able to link, right? Or, or sorry, XYZ or Synchro or nothing. So this is even worse than typical, but that's totally fine. We're going to show you guys anyways. What we should have done here, dark one's going to go where harmonizing is. That's what I meant to do. And we're going to actually link away with harmonizing. Because at this point, harmonizing is getting in our way. So harmonizing is the third material we're going to use for the unicorn. We're actually going to use all three of them for the unicorn. So we're going to use Harmonizing, Electrum, and Absolute, and we're going to put Dark Worm right under the other extra monster zone is what we should have, that's what we want to do. That was, that's our, our Pendulum Summon, and we're going to use those three to summon Unicorn. Uh, and you just got to keep in mind, Dark Worm is going to be used for the Harp War that's going to come out. And Mermaid over there, you're going to simply discard uh, any of your three dead cards. Uh, we also dead drew a Ravine. Uh, look how many dead cards we had there. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you draw, like... It don't matter what you're thinking, you know, the rock or whatever, but uh, it doesn't matter at this point. Like, look at this. Like, we're going to bring out the whole combo again. This combo's absolutely busted. It, it, that no, I would have ended on two negates if you were playing normal pendulums. Two negates. Uh, maybe three are absolute best, like two negates at best, actually. Uh, but this is going to end up on, on six. Like, do you see the difference there? Two or three interruptions is not, like... <laughs> Thunder Dragon, Danger is absolutely a blitzkrieg through interruptions, especially two or three. Like, are you kidding me? Two or three interruptions is absolute shit all. Let alone when you're going to end up with six interruptions, four of which are negates, and two Book of Moons, which are arguably better than interrupt than negates in this format. Like, that's absolutely nuts. Like, and look at the follow-ups. Like, next turn, Janky's coming out. Next turn, our boy Janky is coming out from Black Fang, which is nuts. So you have a six negates there, and if you didn't have the pen call... If you didn't have Pen Call, uh, the Nightmare would have popped Black Fang, bringing out the Janky. If, if you didn't have Pen Call. If you didn't have Pen Call. I know, we, I understand we have Pen Call. I understand that. But it would have popped the Black Fang, it would have Janky, we would have seven interruptions. Now we're going to show it to another. That's two hands that are not, like, they're not the best hands. They simply were not the best hands. I'm not boosting when I say that you can see it for yourself. A good hand will be, like, all pendulums. We drew Orcas cards, Mare Mares, and that's okay. I want to show you these types of hands because even with these hands, you still put up four negates turn one with multiple cards in hand and six negates turn two. Again, multiple cards in hand. Like, it's absolutely busted. Like, there's nothing you can do to stop it, really. And over here, look at this. So, Allure. Oh, hey, look. We drew another Orcas card. But wait a second. We drew one of our 14 ways to get it to either banish it, and you're getting it back if you banish it, because Galatea puts it back into the deck, so you do your combo like normal, and put it in Graveyard, which is where you want it to be, because you're going to use a combo like normal. Like, it doesn't matter what you banish. At this point, the second we realize, uh, wait a second, Galatea brings it back, we banish that instead of harmonizing. Like, it don't matter. It don't matter what's in your hand. Even if you drew the other ones, you don't need to draw one of your 14 ways to get rid of the Orcus. Because if you draw Orcus, you simply Pendulum Summon it. Well, the only ones that you can't, the only actual bricks in the deck are World Wand, which you simply got rid of with one of your 14 ways to get rid of it. Mare Mare, which you get rid of with, with one of your 11 ways to get rid of it. Orchestrator Return, which you just hold down and draw two with it at the very end. Which, uh, you're not, not going to put Orchestrator Return, because you simply draw two for free at the end of your combo. So you don't just end on six negates. You also draw two for free, get free uh, Link stuff, uh, Link Zones coming back with Rusty, and you get your whole uh, Orcus engine uh, recycling itself because Horror is back onto your into your graveyard. It's on your field, so eventually in your graveyard. So your whole Orcus engine recycles itself for more monsters to destroy your opponent with next turn. Like, this deck's nuts. Like, look at this. Like, it, this is nothing short of incredible. This deck does this literally every single turn. You can do 10 hands in a row, and I could even do 100 hands in a row sped up by 10 times ten time speed to show you guys that literally every single hand is five plus negates. Even the worst of hands, which was literally the first one, ended on four. And it still ended with three cards in hand. Orca's engine recycling itself in the graveyard. And, like, it's nuts. Like, are you kidding? And Rusty's going to give you link zones for the rest of eternity. With Fogblade summoning itself back. And even with... Fogblade uh, protecting you, 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 stopping your, you from attacking your opponent's monsters, 
That's how you play multiple dark XYZs. To XYZ it, you got Yazis, etc, etc. Then you're going to go into Savage Dragon, which norm typically the combo is this. Like, this is your typical Pendulum board. Jackal, two sevens, and a Boral Savage. That's your typical Pendulum board. That's a Boral Savage right there, just proxying it. Boral Load Savage is the yellow card right there, just so you guys know. And, like, look, like, your typical board ends there. Like, your typical Pendulum board ends on Vortex, Jackal, and Savage Dragon. That's it. And that's a great Pendulum board. That's a normal Pendulum board. That's the best Pendulum board that normal Pendulums can put up. But honestly, it's not enough. Three is not enough. If I was facing three, I'm OTKing through that. I guess tape when you saw me OTK through four interruptions. Uh, three negate, like four, three negates in Tornado or something like that. Like four negates. Here, I'm going to show you guys the Galate right there. You can simply put that back. It's insane. And you can do your whole combo again. So here, we're not going to end on the three negates as normal. We're going to end on way more. So look at this now. So we're going to end on five with the potential to have eight. You heard it there. You're going to end on five with the potential to have eight. I'm going to show you guys why right now. So... Uh, there we're gonna go into Rusty. You always want to go into Rusty first because if you go into Rusty first You're not gonna draw into the traps because you're gonna draw two, right? And it's just amazing like this deck's absolutely insane So one thing to note is you play 21 turbo cards because you play 21 turbo cards It is so easy to make Electrum without your normal summon. So over here. Well, we drew those for a follow-up uh, over here uh, That's the five negates you end on but one thing to note is we did use our normal summon if we did not use our normal summon to make Electro, which you have 21 ways to do it, which typically you make Electro without your normal summon, which is why you play so many turbo cards, you normal summon the Dark Romance. I understand people in the comments are going to say, hey, you normal summon, this is not the combo. I'm just saying, theoretically, theoretically, if you didn't normal summon, you got Nightmare, that Rusty would have popped a Bog Fang and would have ended on Janky. So if you use Electro without your normal summon, you would have eight negates, which I do all the time. Eight negates. Your whole board would have been full with five negates and two fog blades, and nightmare would have equal uh, two. So that would have been eight. So six on field, two, six on monster zones, two fog blades. But we did use our normal summon, so we're gonna end up with just a pen call and dark worm in our hand as a follow up. Objective is gonna have two spells already by now, and you have a stack grave. That's absolutely nuts. Like I don't even know how I do this. This deck's absolutely nuts. It's nuts, man. It's absolutely nuts. That was like three hands in a row, or four hands. I don't know. I lost count. I could do 10 hands in a row if you guys want. It's going to end on the same result. Five plus negates, best follow-ups, multiple cards in hand, multiple cards in graveyard, the stack graveyard, link zones. Like It doesn't just give you negates. It gives you a better offensive offense as well as a better defense. Uh, oh, hang on. It breaks. Oh, my God. I drew Orcus. I drew an Orcus card. If only I could, you could pendulum summon it. If only you could lure it away and get it back with Galatea. If only you can't Pendulum call it away, you have six. If only you can't Dragon Ravine away, you got five. You have so, like, there's no excuse here. Orcus cards are busted. There's no specific rule that you can't play Pendulum. Oh, like, you can literally Pendulum summon one level four. Pendulum summon a, a, a level seven. Pendulum summon a gate zero. Pendulum summon a, a damn gate zero, all right? Pendulum summon a gate zero and an Orcus card. And you still end on multiple negates, three plus negates. Like, you could summon one gate zero, all right, and two any monster, doesn't matter. Go into Nightmare Mermaid. Uh, go into Absolute with Orcus Nightmare comes up with Mermaid and the gate zero. That itself ends on three or uh, four negates uh, if you didn't use your normal summon. Like, three negate just by summoning one pendulum, summoning one pendulum monster, one gate zero. Like, it doesn't matter, man. It don't matter. This deck's insane. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to feature this deck a lot in the next week because it's simply busted and the best deck in the game right now. I don't care what anyone says. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my trick gameplay in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace!